Hi everyone, today I'm excited to show you how we can transform an AI generated image into this 3D printed object. Step 1. Generating the image. We'll start by generating an image using an AI tool. For this example, I use ChatGPT4, but feel free to use any image generator you prefer. Step 2. Converting the image to a 3D model. Once we have the image, the next step is converting it into a 3D format. I use 3D.CSM.AI, a tool that can transform images into 3D files such as OBJ. I actually learned about this tool from RetroLite, so be sure to check out their videos as well. I'll be honest, I was initially skeptical about the quality, but after testing it out, I was genuinely impressed by how realistic the results were. As of January 2025, this tool was free but its pricing policy may change, so double check before using it. There are also many emerging AI tools for this purpose, so now is a great time to explore similar options. Step 3 is the preparing the model for 3D printing. Now that we have our 3D model, we could technically print it right away since it's in OBJ format. However, I decided to modify it for faster and more reliable print. I used Fusion 360 for this process. Here's a quick rundown. Import the mesh into Fusion 360. Create a rectangular base for scale and position the model on it. Slice the model using the plane cut command. The mesh had two layers due to its shell structure, so I manually removed the inner layer to make it solid for 3D printing. I used the edit mesh feature to clean up areas where inner and outer parts were connected, like nostrils and eyes. Let me know in the comments if you have a better way to edit these kinds of meshes. After deleting the inner layer, I use repair tool to close any holes, creating a solid model with the zero hollow spaces. Step four is finalizing and 3D printing. I converted it into a mesh format and combined it with the 3D head model. I then saved the final design as an STL format and then slice it using Cura 3D Slicer. The 3D printing process took about two hours. Final thoughts is that initially I was skeptical about using AI generated 3D models. I wasn't sure if the details or general form would be accurate enough. But after trying it out, I was pleasantly surprised by how fast and high quality the results were. If you have suggestions for better ways to create 3D models using generative AI or ideas for future projects, Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this.